and welcome back to the Ruby Tuesday. My name's Ruben, and this is kind of my spoiler talks, best moments of the TV series, uh, the Amazon original TV series called Them. So this is spoilers. This is your warning. Let's jump into it. Think of home. So I'm just going to jump in with my favorite character, the tap dancing man. What you gonna do? That character was born of a heartache, a depression from the husband who had lost his child and had been beaten down. Everything has been taken away from him, from being the engineer um, uh, to getting the shares that he was meant to get, from everybody looking down on him because of his skin color. So we have this malevolent force that whose job is, as we saw in episode seven, and we'll go back to that black and white episode in a minute, we get this malevolent force that manifests itself in the tap dancing man that follows him around and is kind of of ushering his anger and so we see the change in our um, protagonist dude who ends up hurting people like he wouldn't really manifest that self but it is a part of him it's just making it him so much more angry it's bringing all of those feelings uh to fruition to like to be manifest and so that's why we get that manifest as character as the very terrifying um tap dancing man with the makeup uh, there are some racial connotations with that if you've ever watched anything from way back when um, even those video clips that they have of people singing and dancing african-american people covered in uh, black and white face makeup uh, you understand the connotations if you've lived through that era or anything quite like that i grew up in south africa uh, just after apartheid or during apartheid and there was all that kind of racism and connotations obviously this is more to america but i understand it it's it's the history is there and so i thought that character although terrifying meant a lot and then we have the daughter who has manifested a white girl who um, is basically making her want to be white she wants to be pretty she wants to be seen that is her big thing she, she hates being ignored i think everybody hates being ignored and when you're african-american in a white school and everybody ignores you and they say you're ugly that is going to beat down your persona so when you've lost a child you've lost a brother and you've moved to a new place which is predominantly white you've left all your friends she manifests this this girl that is her friend and not for a long time do we well i it took me a few episodes to realize oh this isn't real because as you start seeing some of the other family members you see the little boy who's manifesting this horrific teacher that is very very terrifying again you see the mother who is manifesting um a lot of things especially the guy in the hat and uh, which leads me to the preacher this i think it's dutch from the Netherlands, that episode seven that was black and white. Again, incredible change of pace, uh, but really needed to be told. That was kind of our episode where they told us the history of where the curse began. And then it's then that we know that there's an evil entity, either Satan or a demonic entity of some kind, makes this handshake deal, this covenant, and he becomes um, what he didn't really want to be, the, the evil. I thought that the reason the preacher started seeing things because he was actually going blind. And so his paranoia combined with his blindness, combined with wanting to serve the Lord in a really, really like bad way, ended up making him make these choices. And they end up kind of making their first slaves and then burning and everybody goes like burns in a big ball of flame. Every, all the buildings come up in flame. I was like, oh, this really is supernatural. Yeah, there is a lot of them playing with your minds. Are the family just losing their minds? Are they just being tortured by these white folk across, you know, people can lose their minds just being tortured constantly just in a psychosis mode. And I thought that was excellently done. I also thought the neighbor across the road, the female protagonist there, she was excellent. Um, I didn't feel sorry for her the way she died by the serial killer from the guy, uh, one of the main characters from True Blood. I thought he was, get, again, creepy, but great. Um, because you knew, well, I did feel sorry for her because you found out that she had some nasty stuff going on with her father and then she gets picked on by a serial killer and then her husband has stolen all of her money but she is also incredibly uh, hateful of black people she looks down upon them because that seems to be bred in the culture no excuses but that is a thing that has happened to generations and we're still now seeing the real world effects if we come out of that story we see the real world effects of that here and so when you get themes like that in a story like this, it does touch on a real world basis. So there's some characters you'll naturally go, yeah, I don't like her. Why is she racist? 
but it does make you think. Let me know some of the favorite moments in this series for you below. I think the one that will stand out to everybody, not being the favorite moment, but the harshest and scariest one is obviously where the wife uh, gets raped and the baby um, is swung around and they're playing cat in a bag, cat in a bag. Heart wrenching, horrific scene um, that I've seen in recent years. It's just you know, you just hold your breath and you're like, I can't believe what I'm seeing. The juxtaposition of the music often playing in these scenes is just classical music that you normally associated with good feelings. Well, I did certainly, and uh, like kind of the jazz uplifting to have that contradict that music now puts a sour taste in my mouth going, oh my gosh, I'm going to have flashbacks of those scenes. I really don't want that music um, in conjunction with those scenes. It was a very clever um, mechanic to use in this series that they used throughout, which I thought was another character, which I didn't really talk about in my main review, which I'm talking about now. So let me know in the comments below, which is your favorite moment or favorite episode? Who's your favorite character? And uh, did you enjoy it? Thanks so much for watching this, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long Tuesday.